So for today, we're going to be looking at the Zerg's Exotic Dare. This is going to be the last one for Season of the Lost. Again, if you guys are new to this, this is essentially a self-imposed challenge that I gave myself that whichever exotic Zerg sells during that week, I have to make an armor set around it. Uh, just wanted to point that out because I've seen people comment that this is like dares of eternity for some reason and i get it i guess but at the same time it's it's just a funny name that i gave this challenge so uh always like i like i always say in in these videos if you guys have your own that you want to show me show me on twitter or instagram better on on twitter just so that way uh if you do want to put if you do want me to post it on my instagram twitter is going to be the easiest one because the pictures are going to be better resolution because instagram does not do the best uh resolution so just fyi so if you guys like the video like comment subscribe but without further ado let's just get right into it so this is my hunter this is this came out very very good in my opinion uh the whole thing about the these sets in particular is they're all going to be purple mostly because a two out of the three exotics are connected to void and because of void 3.0 i was like fuck it let's just make it all void themed so hunters we got the graviton forfeit one of my favorite helmets uh from d1 and it's it's still good i guess i mean we'll see next season because i don't know about next season but this season it's super good especially if you have a specific build on it i didn't want to have the regal crossroad only because the purple on this is a little bit darker it it's leaning more towards blue and although i do love this helmet i think the the ornament is really good for it i decided to go with this one just because it's classic and it's void themed obviously uh you guys will also notice that i am rocking all different shaders all different armor pieces this is something i didn't do like initially i i just decided to do one whole shader which was the this one over here i decided to just use this but then uh the whole set really changed around the shaders that i was using so this one was a really weird way that i i made the armor sets because originally this one was supposed to be this one over here but then i didn't like the fact that the the shader for imperial opulence right here is gold and then this also looks like copperish so this this is a really weird thing for me like i i'm not kidding when i say i changed all the armor set to better uh accentuate some of the purples because a lot of these sets have purple in them but in a also have like really bad co other colors as well like for example the imperial opulence like i said this one gives a really rich purple but if i have any armor piece on it then it turns into like uh this like rose gold i guess you would say and then right here is like a really dark orange yellow so i had to like really think about like okay well i can't have any armor pieces on it because i just want the purple same thing for the chest piece uh arms by the way are the Kotorier set the chest piece is the intrepid D discovery vest this is a an og one from season of menagerie and this one i'm gonna i'm gonna be real honest this one was the hardest one for me uh just because i really wanted just black and purple nothing else just black and purple and for some reason i just cannot find it black and purple just seems to elude me because i have tried a lot of colors like i'm not even kidding i've tried most of the purples uh this one almost got chosen because of just how well it looks but unfortunately i'm dumb and I, this blue right here really does bug me so you know fuck me uh not an invitation the yeah there's just a lot of pieces that there's blue there's purple and black but it's just not there like this one would have been cool too but it's a different purple it's more it's more leaning on blue uh i also thought, thought gambit the gambit steel which is, I'm, I'm using for the cloak but none of it is purple unfortunately uh, for the boots, I'm using the Outlander Steps. This one, this is one I crutch a lot, um, but I feel like this one goes really well because I'm going for a 
I guess you could say classic hunter look, but for me, it, it was more of a of a everything looks normal until you see my face type thing. I don't know. It's very hard to explain, but Lunar Gloom really came in clutch with this because I wanted pur purple and black. I don't really care that the straps right here are blue. And if I'm being extra like, like picky, I guess that would fit. These two are matching, but I do like the purple that the Byzantine Lotus gives off. I do like that purple a lot. And last but not least, we have this season's Dimus, Dim, Dimusborn cloak, which this one I just got on a whim. It's not like, oh, this fits perfectly. I mean, I don't really care. It just looks dope to me. Um, yeah, I, I was thinking about this one, but A, I've used it already. And it's just, I kind of didn't want to go for a hood for some weird reason. I was thinking about this one, but again, I, I want to go with minimal armor and this just seemed like excessive and there's another one where oh this one unfortunately actually this probably would work better in my opinion the only thing i don't like is the silver on the snake uh that's the only thing i don't like about it so this one's still the best in my opinion i know that, that there's armor piece right here but that's like fine in my head like this is not bad so Hunters, let me know what you guys think. I love how it came out. I, th I think the purples came in clutch. Uh, I'm gonna hate to like actually do this for my Instagram because if you guys don't know, I post all of the information on my Instagram and pictures and I even name them. So if you guys didn't know that, check out my Instagram, you guys will notice that. But yeah, let me know what you guys think and we'll get to the Titans. So Titans, unfortunately, you guys did not get the one of your void exotics. Unfortunately, you guys ended up getting the Kaitens ramp something. I don't remember. Kaitens ramparts. There we go. Uh, I mean, you can use it in void. It, it, it is a a subclass neutral exotic. So I mean, technically, you could use it. Or no, no, technically, you can. It's just that it would have been really cool if they had given all void. Uh, it's particularly the ones I'm thinking as the Doomfang pauldrons. If that would have been the case, then it, it would have been all void, which would have been cool. But for the honestly, like the whole thing for this is just purple. Like I just wanted to go with purple on this. Uh, I think the Jensen Night Helm goes really well with this whole set because void is very like uh, mysterious and like the void. So it just kind of made sense to have a helmet like this. For the arms, again, Kaiden's Ramparts, that's what they're selling today. For the chest piece, I ended up deciding to go with the Imperium Cartographer plate only because the legs are really skinny from the Nemean Greaves. These are really skinny and I wanted to lean into the skinniness and not like get something bulky for up there because then it would have looked weird. And the last but not least, we have the Virtuous Mark. This is a, this is a mark I crutch on hard. But for good reason, it's really good. And uh, this is one of the uh, marks that you can't technically color. I mean, I say technically because the back, literally everything will be colored except the, the feathers. So the feathers is like the only thing that will stay purple. So if I'm wearing a, an armor set that has purple in it, most likely than not, I will have this, this ornament just because why not? I'm using purple. I might as well. Titans, let me know what you guys think. Unfortunately, I don't have much to say about this one just because it's not really void themed. Uh, the Warlocks is pretty good considering they got their helmet that is void themed. So let's just get right into that. Last but not least, we have the Warlocks. This is definitely a really cool set in my opinion. I love it. So the reason I am choosing just so many of these choices is they all kind of like have a reason. So. The helmet, obviously, this is what Zer is selling today. Uh, the Astrocyte Verse. I think I have, this is one of the best Void helmets in the game, like by far. You can't tell me I'm wrong because uh, I'm not wrong. This shit looks fire. Uh, the arms are the only piece where I'm like, this is literally anything will go with it. Uh, I did have, I was thinking about this one for a little bit, but I don't like how big it is. And honestly, this is the only piece that I'm like, anything would probably work with this so just go ham like if anything i probably should have done this one because that one looks really cool with it uh for the chest piece i wanted to go with the celestial robes uh just because void for me just kind of like envelops the space like literal outer space so 
that's kind of why I went with this. The stars, I don't remember what these are called, uh, but that's why I went with this. I also thought it was cool that there's white here, but also like black here uh, to like mess with the eyes because they do mess with my eyes a little bit because they look really weird. And then for the legs, we have the Celestine boots just so I can get a little bit more purple in there because the only purple we really do see is the helmet. Obviously the shader is itself, but I mean more of a glow. So like the boots really do help, especially since the boots are white, but because of the shadows, it gives this really cool like vibrance to the boots. And I really like that about that. So last but not least, we have the Meridian constellations. That's what they are, constellations. Uh, this one, I honestly just put this just because of the, the purple and it, it looks like space in there. And that's really it. This is literally the whole the whole set is just kind of like working on the idea of space, uh, outer space and just void in general. That's why there's white and black on this. Uh, there's purple everywhere. Constellations, fucking constellations. So Warlocks, let me know what you guys think. This one was probably my favorite. Uh, my hunter is obviously close uh second and then the titan is just unfortunately it's just y'all didn't get fucking ex uh anything void exotic so that's why yours does not look thematic because this looks super cool in my opinion so let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you guys want to follow me on social media like things are in the description below uh i am really excited for witch queen uh i'm gonna be super fucking busy so uh commenting really will help boost my energy because i really do like it when people comment it just kind of makes me happy so be safe and i'll see you guys later